Hello guys, this is going to be, um, I would say, a long video. Uh, I'm going to try to explain in the best uh, possible way the Nero scripts, the structure of uh, Playbox uh, RetroPie menu. Um, I'm going to do this on um, uh, Virtual Man Rhodium version 2 uh, Retro Paradise uh, based on uh, the Playbox base and um, uh, some of you requested that so i'm going to take the time and uh, explain as i said the full retropie menu the scripts the toolbox uh, or the toolkit uh, of playbox uh, a couple uh, exclusive things that um, i have on this image for a uh, virtual man uh, these uh, and a couple other things that will be uh, only on the official playbox version 2 and um, I'd like to share and explain a couple things that you will find on uh, Retro Paradise. So let's get started. I'm gonna go, um, let's explain a few things first. Um, Virtual Man decided to have some uh, of the system hidden, and if you want to enable these features or systems, you just go to uh, 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 ROMs folder. And you'll find some systems that they have the dot off uh, extension next to the folder name. So basically, if you just remove that and you leave just the folder name intact and you start your ES, you'll see these systems in your emulation station. Um, these systems uh, are fully supported, and every system that I have on the two play custom themes. Uh, I don't know, um, probably some of them, uh, uh, they won't be displayed correctly on uh, uh, Dwayne Hurst uh, or Retro Hurst uh, themes. So uh, this is something that you probably have to do manually, fix it or hide it again or whatever you want. So for example, some of the hidden is the Raspbian uh, desktop, which you can boot directly from a relation system in the uh, Raspbian desktop. This is enabled on Playbox uh, by default uh, since I installed on a scratch, from scratch on a clean Raspbian uh, image with uh, desktop included. And um, uh, we have uh, the power options. You can uh, power off and uh, restart your uh, Pi from the menu. Uh, inside the emulation system it's uh, displayed as a system. Um, and a few others. I'm just gonna go probably in um, the configure in the file manager and uh, show you these things. And uh, now a couple um, exclusive things that you have on uh, this image of Virtual Man is the Amiga setup that I have. Uh, it's um, a newer, the latest 225, but it's STL2 based, and this uh, this monks. Um, so uh, it has the direct boot to the ROM and uh, at the point of release uh, Virtual Man updated the XML of um, uh, the games uh, that uh, are pre-configured and uh, I think uh, if I'm correct this is maintained by Oras and Spider uh, in collaboration with um, uh, the developer of Amiberry uh, uh, and um, uh, another thing we did, it's um, I have enabled on uh, the Amiga CD32 system that you have the option that now supports the .q and bin uh, extension, specifically the .q, and uh, you can boot this ISO or bin files uh, directly on the Amiga CD32. And uh, I don't know if it's officially yet enabled. I know that I posted on the um, RetroPie forums and I've been talking with uh, uh, the, the developer Jim and uh, Dimitris actually. And uh, uh, I think Jules, uh, one of the head guys uh, in RetroPie. And um, I, I told them that uh, there's just a small change that really needs to be done in one of their SH. Uh, scripts and uh, it will enable because Amiberry already supports the .q uh, 
and uh, another thing we did <clears throat> and I have an uh, uh, exclusive for uh, uh, virtual man is the open bore so open bore has uh, it's not the actual port that comes with um, a retro pie setup uh, in ports this is not uh, the actual port this is a custom compiled uh, 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 binary that I have uh, with some libraries needed uh, it boots directly any dot uh, pack uh, files and um, um, uh, virtual man decided and uh, thanks uh, to him you have a very nice collection of all these uh, games in here it's 50 games and that uh, he uh, uh, created the uh, in, uh, I think with the help of um, um, Randy Slim, uh, some artwork, and uh, he uh, did all this uh, nice collection. So um, this is something that you can enjoy, and uh, this is uh, on this specific image and release. So ports. Uh, this is something the default uh, order that I have. This is next to the. Uh, what you see here the options or retro pie menu and um, if you want to have the order that I have on the official playbox uh, release uh, all you have to do is just in the discord in the virtual man channel I posted a zip file with uh, this ES system uh, config files that you need to uh, just uh, copy in a specific folder have all the instructions and uh, you'll have all this uh, original order that I have of the systems um, uh, fixed uh, again uh, nothing major and um, it just as I said like you know it's only ports uh, with uh, alphabetic order and the rest is uh, my friend virtual man he maintained and you'll see it starts as the first one is the Cody and then you have uh, the options or retro pie and then continues with alphabetic order the Amiga, Amiga CD, etc. etc. So let's go now and see the options, which is the RetroPie menu. menu. Um, uh, when I created this, uh, I decided to uh, see this structure, uh, to have this structure that you see here. Uh, I have updated and created new logos for each one, and uh, it has the official, of course, logos and scripts and uh, the ones that you see with the column before the name that's folders so we have four folders the emulation tools the network tools the system tools visual and theme tools and then we have four uh, scripts which is the music on off uh, script and uh, basically what it does it mutes and unmutes the background music and um, anything you need if you don't know or if you don't remember or if you uh, don't have the time to go back and uh, watch this video again i know it's going to be long as i said so please know that in every system and um, on uh, on playbox that i have uh, on the custom themes and on the retro pie menu i have descriptions that explain everything about what this uh, script does and um, it will help you a lot instead of just worrying about it so let's say music on off uh, from easy hacks um, i used his background music script we are based on livewire uh, it's a fantastic script he did very good job and i love this script and um, uh, it has the music on off so you don't have to uninstall it if you don't like the background music and you want to disable just go here click on it and it will be disabled you wanna bring it back, just click again, it will be enabled. So what it does, as it says in the description, mute or unmute the background music. Then we have the official Raspi config, you know all about it. The rest, uh, the retro pie setup, and uh, the system info uh, by me. This is uh, a different and updated what um, I have given initially on the older versions of Virtual Man after we started collaborating with each other on version 5 uh, <clears throat> and onwards so um, uh, this one uh, 
Uh, it's uh, slightly different from the official one on version one, ver uh, Playbox. It, um, he asked me to remove the weather and uh, I understand that because uh, it needs network connection because it gets this information from the network and displays these five, six cities, uh, cities I have, the weather. But uh, it might take a little bit longer to load because of the weather and the connection needed to the internet. Now, uh, and the last one that you see, and some of these screws, they have a star in front. Uh, what it means, it means like, you know, for me, it's some special scripts or they have a special role and I would just want them to be separate from the mass of other scripts and they go to the bottom and have the star. So that's what you see. When you see a star in front of a script, name of the script, that means like, you know, there is a special importance to that script. Now let's go and um, I want to play uh, Playbox Toolkit a little bit later. I'm just going to go first to the emulation tools folder and we have the configuration editor which is the official uh, RetroPie script unchanged we have the ES collection list generator uh, by David Marty and um, slightly changed uh, or updated by me but it's his original and it's his work and then we have the ES Pathfinder custom collection by CyberGhost uh, that was his final release and um, uh, what it does, uh, as it says in the description, it compares custom imported collections. So if you have uh, a custom collection that you imported from another image or from another user, <coughs> what it does, it will just uh, check uh, against your ROM set and uh, automatically correct the path so we can uh, um, have, let's say, the uh, correct ROM to uh, that collection. Uh, or an entry in the collection that you have. Uh, you have, um, you can play with it um, more. You can find it on his GitHub. Uh, it has uh, uh, different search options, the standard, the advanced. So let's move on. Now we have the light gun aim track configuration and uh, the install. The install is already pre installed on the Playbox, so you don't have to do anything about it. And um, you have mouse support. Uh, and uh, I guess light gun with USB you can use and uh, if you use advanced MAME uh, version 1.4 or uh, uh, the LR MAME 2002 and 2012, uh, 2003 sorry and 2010 if I remember correctly they both support uh, the mouse so you can play some games instead of if you don't have a light gun you can use your mouse and you can play these games now we have the recast date and time that was uh, the rich gigabit uh, initial script that was based on the overclock uh, script we had uh, on uh, on virtual man and older images and uh, it's slightly changed so it's not called uh, dreamcast i don't remember what was the old name but i decided to call it recast i did some changes and what it does it uses a custom binary uh, done by uh, john sim as you can see in the description uh, the credit goes to him and um, the binary avoids this uh, date and time request every time uh, and that's based on the older recast so um, i know uh, virtual man on this image he updated from retropie uh, setup and we have a newer binary and uh, this binary as far as i know and official documents if you go in retropie documents for dreamcast you see they say that from as of uh, February 2019 only the first time you boot recast you'll be requested about the date and time and then it won't be asked again so that's perfect and this script will become obsolete then we have the retro arts net play then we have saves a single single folder by Ryan Connors um, very um, uh, this is already pre-installed on this image and not on the official playbox. I prefer people, if you want to use it, you can install it. It's very, very simple. So it will have all your saved games in one directory, which is, as you can see in the description, it creates the saves directory in uh, a home RetroPie uh, slash saves. And uh, all the RetroArch uh, Arch, uh, emulators have their own uh, save files in there. 
So uh, let's move on. This is a script I created um, basis the official RetroPie document about the Zinmo and Zhu Yao uh, dual controllers. So this needs a sp uh, an entry um, added. So uh, what this script does, this is a dual script that depending on which one you have, you, you start it and then you select uh, Zinmo or GUI and uh, will do, uh, do the update, reboot your system and then uh, your controller should be supported. And the last three, which is, as we said, the, a little bit more special script. This is the uh, controller selection uh, script. Uh, which I think now officially supported in the RetroPie setup. What it does, it lets the user define which controller to use for RetroArch, players 1 to 4, and you can do the selection by joystick index 1 to 3, 4, for example, or by joystick name. And uh, let's move on. We have the install or update arcade uh, attract mode, and uh, including the hardware video encoding. And um, on official playbox light and full uh, that track mode is present i have a special track mode is based on hyperpy 2.51 which was the latest one at uh, that time i don't know if there is a new one uh, i've done some changes to be uh, more specific to the playbox but uh, kudos to uh, hyperpy uh, uh, team for their excellent uh, release and uh, thank them uh, for uh, all they have done because uh, 251 was um, um, even more um, I would say uh, optimized uh, even though it's bigger in size uh, but what this script da will do if um, in this our case that is already removed by virtual man what we can, will do, it will uh, get from the official GitHub, we will install uh, fresh the track mode, including SFML Pi and FM uh, MP, uh, MPEG uh, with uh, MMAL support, hardware video encoding support. And to enable, if you can see in the description, it says that you have to open, <coughs> excuse me, the track.cpg. Uh, in general section and then uh, you go and find video underscore decoded and change that to MMAL with your text editor. Um, last one is the re retro arch and you can start it from here. Now we go back, well, let's go to network tools, we have Bluetooth, what is my IP and Wi-Fi. This is all official uh, scripts from RetroPie setup. Then we go to system tools. Then we have a subfolder HDMI audio fixes by Easy Hacks. This is the three scripts of uh, Easy Hacks for people that had uh, no audio over uh, HDMI, I think. And uh, you can test if you have if you don't have a sound uh, one of these three in this kind of order. Apply first, as he says, uh, the force 1080p and then 720p. I didn't have any problem uh, at all. Uh, what I was setting up, setting up and creating the playbox, so I don't know if this really will be uh, will be needed, but uh, for me it was not needed. But I just uh, have it there because someone might need it, and you, you can find it there. So uh, USB modes. Uh, this subfolder has my script that I created for the USB mode, uh, and what it does. This is based on the official info from RetroPie and uh, uh, sorry from Raspbian and uh, uh, what uh, the Raspberry organization what they had uh, so the Raspberry uh, uh, Pi 3B is not factory enabled to uh, support direct uh, USB uh, uh, mass storage devices to boot an image straight from the USB uh, unlike the 3B plus which is factory enabled now so this script what it does with the instructions that they have it will um, enable this feature on your 3B and you can boot uh, now uh, USB devices uh, with uh, uh, any must burn on them so um, this is already pre-enabled on Playbox so basically if you ever 
uh, use the official one, official one or virtual one or any other builder that use my Playbox. So if you boot your 3B uh, Pi with this Playbox image, then it automatically on your next boot it will be uh, USB enabled uh, as factory intended uh, on 3B Plus and you can boot your images straight from the USB. Now we have um, the USB ROMs on and off. Uh, it has easy hacks and 2P. When you see these initials, you have the original creator, who in our case is easy hacks and 2P is me. Uh, and basically it's just uh, what I did. I got these two uh, external USB uh, hard drive script of easy hacks and the uh, disable and I combined and made a single one instead of having separate ones so let's go back this is his code uh, it's just combined in one by me now we have the official audio settings we have the background music set up by easy hacks <coughs> excuse me and uh, I have some uh, minor changes I disabled uh, the deletion of the music folder as uh, Easy Hacks initially had. And um, let's go to File Manager. I'm just gonna go in and show you what I was talking uh, before about some hidden systems. So we go to scroll down to RetroPy, then we go to ROMs. And let's scroll down and find a couple. As you can see, the jukebox, it has the dot off extension, the love, then it should be the Macintosh is a disabled. You can see here the Oric. You can see the Raspberry, which is uh, the one that boots to your, uh, it enables the system in an emulation system uh, station, and you can uh, boot from your emulation station directly to the Raspberry desktop. So that's it, I'm not gonna go through, you can see all of them, the this Steam off, basically is this is the official uh, newest Steam uh, script, and it's enabled as a system, so you can enable by just changing this extension and uh, restart your ES. So let's go back to the menu. I press F10. Now we have the reference utility uh, menu by David Marty. It displays some common information about RetroPie emulation station attract mode, uh, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we have the run commands, the official script, and we have the last three important uh, or more special scripts this is the overclock optimized uh, script this is the one created uh, for me by ryan connors or rpc uh, developer he um, he did a very excellent job and i'm very happy and thank you uh thanking him for him um uh, for this and um this is a single script that uh, enables, um, uh, as it has here in the description, we have uh, 1500, 1550 for the Pi 3B Plus and uh, the 1300 for this. And I think on this one, uh, what I did uh, and is extra for Virtual Man, and I'm gonna have on ver on Playbox ver uh, version two. So we have, yes, um, <clears throat> I have to update the description, I guess, on the new one, uh, probably did on Playbox. So you have the 1300 for Pi 3 uh, B, and then you have for the uh, Pi 3 B Plus, the 1475, which is the new frequency, then 1500 and 1550. So let's press and exit. Then we have um, the reset all controllers. Uh, is this, um, it will, what it what would do, it's very similar to the EasyHack uh, script. 
it will reset all um, the configuration that we have of the controllers um, and uh, so when uh, you uh, let's say you made an image for a friend and you set, uh, apply this script it will remove all the configurations and restore the default uh, original uh, ES input uh, configuration so uh, next time you start your Pi you will have the um, uh, request you'll be prompted to set up your controller and last one is the update and upgrade the operating system uh, it's a little script that I created and it will do everything for you it will update upgrade your operating system and then clean uh, so let's go to the next one which is the visual and theme tools now we have the bezel custom sets by David Murray <coughs> It's a little slightly changed by me, but it's his code, his original code, and the credit goes to him. Um, I selected one of the three that he had on Motion Blue 6. I think the most uh, visual pleasing one. Then we have the Bezel project, the official Bezel project, and uh, which is now officially part of the RetroPie setup. We have the ES themes and uh, the Hersti themes. Uh, with the, the randomizer, so if you update your Hersti themes or the bezel project uh, Then these updated scripts will go to the root of the the RetroPie menu So you'll find them just in here So or when you go and update your RetroPie setup and you go to manage packages and update your core packages Then all the official will be just dumped here in the root as the default setup so <clears throat> I will explain to you how you fix this and uh, virtual man did already a video for that so we go back to the visual and then uh, we go to media removal utility by David Marty and uh, updated or changed by me um, so what it does um, I added box art uh, and uh, so if you have your uh, artwork from another set and you have your ROMs and you just uh, put your ROMs and game list and you have all this extra artwork in there and you don't want to have all this because it takes space or for whatever other reason you run this script and uh, uh, thanks to David Marty will clean up your extra uh, unneeded and uh, unmatched to your game uh, list um, art and we leave a cleaner setup <coughs> in your <Europe. coughs> excuse me on the ROMs directory and save you some space. Then we have the MP4 uh, launching screens. Uh, this is a video that uh, will enable, uh, disable. It's already enabled on Playbox. Uh, Virtual Man has disabled and he has the uh, old style, uh, the, the custom. Uh, he created custom launch uh, launching images a very nice one very nice and clean and um, this script al al also will allow you to have if you have uh, and some of the images that you've seen and and um, even in motion blue 6 there was a set by david murray and had for almost all systems uh, a video loading uh, mpeg uh, uh, playing it before you start a ROM and uh, so this one this script will just tell you that if you want this uh, you just have to put it as the description says in uh, inside the RetroPie extra uh, slash extra plus slash mp4 folder and it has to match uh, the systems that uh, exist in the ROMs folder so if you have let's say a video that's called uh, Amiga it has to be in the Amiga, uh, it should, there should be an Amiga systems uh, ROM folder uh, and, and the list goes on. So we go to Overscan on and off by EasyHack, this is his code and what I did, uh, he had two scripts, one to enable the Overscan and one to disable it. So what I did, I took the script and created a unified, uh, uh, combined the two in one. And as you will see, 99% uh, of the scripts that I have, you don't need uh, 
the keyboard they just run w with your controller <clears throat> so next one is the retroarch arch shaders on and off and uh, then we have uh, as i said they just says enable or disable your retroarch shaders and then we have the splash screens um, which enables or disables the retro pie splash screens during the boot and the last one is the skyscraper uh, by me and uh, but it is the script it's not the actual uh, <clears throat> Uh, I don't mean that I made the skyscraper. Skyscraper was created by Lars, and uh, 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 on his GitHub, when um, some people they were asking how to have this installation automated, I took the liberty and I created the script. Uh, I gave it to Lars, and he asked me to just post it for uh, to RetroPy, uh, so it can be uh, merged. Um, at that time, I didn't do it, so. Uh, uh, someone I guess uh, did it so now skyscraper is part of the RetroPie setup so you can install it and run it from there and um, you all know that it has to be uh, run from uh, command line uh, this is an excellent skyscraper and uh, what the difference is here that you can install uh, I'm gonna run it and just uh, show you quickly So, <clears throat> uh, you have four options. The one, the first one is to update the skyscraper by Lars and uh, in Playbox, it's enabled, it's installed. So this one will just bring you the latest one from his GitHub. Then you can install the skyscraper by Lars uh, in, and that means like, you know, if it's corrupted here on Playbox or you had some problems, you can install it from here and then you can uh, update but uh, I think the install will just get you the latest one anyway uh, so we'll fix your existing installation if there was a problem now and this is the third one if you get let's say someone copies my script from playbox and put it on their base what it does it will install the skyscraper by Lars to a new system so it just does a clean install and then we have the how to run skyscraper just few uh, text details to tell you what to do basically you have to go to exit to the uh, exit emulation station and then uh, be in the CLI to run it so let's go exit let's go back and then we're back to the main menu so the retro part menu so I'm gonna go through now the playbox toolkit which is um, uh, my multi um, script uh, uh, toolkit if you want to call it or uh, multi-script so let's go inside let's start it up <coughs> and let's explain uh, so it has uh, it says this script can fix a broken configuration to its original state as initially created by me this can happen by updates or manual changes I have set the script option for easy reference you see what I mean <clears throat> and uh, you will see in some of them that I have uh, uh, with stars that tell you to run it only from the command line interface or CLI and that means that you have to exit by pressing F4 while in uh, emulation station then type fix press tab and hit enter and it will run it so Another option, the last one, it says that you can use one you are in CLI, you can use the uh, arrow up key and you can select it from the saved uh, top commands that I have in the CLI history. <clears throat> so as you will see now, we have 21, it's a little bit more than the official one, version one, and it has some uh, entries that they were custom for uh, virtual man. So the first one, the fix playbox custom RetroPie menu uh, as we said if you update the bezel project if you update the retro uh, uh, retro uh, retro hersty or uh, david hersty uh, blue uh, scripts then uh, this will go to the root of uh, retro menu and 
uh, if you go to update your uh, RetroPie setup and you go minus packages and you update your uh, core packages, then again, all the official ones, they will just all flood your uh, root of uh, the RetroPie menu. Uh, so to fix this, you just go here, uh, you start the toolkit, you select option one, and uh, this will fix including all these updated uh, things you do to the specific folders <clears throat> now we go as you can see this has only from cli so this one and uh, four more they have to be run from the command line uh, it's uh, the safest way to do it and uh, i recommend it and i would say it's mandatory to do it so to avoid problems it happened to a few people and of course i have a fix for that too uh, in my on my discord but it will save you time just follow this and uh, you'll be uh, good to go and continue with where uh, from where you are now the second one is uh, the region script and what I call here uh, I'm gonna start it up and explain to you so this for example we are in different regions some were in the US some in Japan some in Europe and um, what it does uh, when uh, the companies created the devices, uh, so we had, for example, in the US, we had Genesis, Sega CD, TurboGrafx 16 CD, <coughs> NCD, or Odyssey 2, and in Europe, the, uh, the equivalent was, uh, were Mega Drive, Mega CD, PC Engine, PC Engine CD, Video Pack, and uh, so it, depending where you are, uh, because on Playbox I support all the systems. Some uh, in the past, uh, Easy Hacks had uh, by changing, uh, swapping the artwork. <coughs> I have in a little bit different way, and basically with this way you um, select um, a custom uh, ES uh, systems um, file and applies only to the system based on your region. So you have, if you're in US or Japan, just select the options for that. And there are six options. The difference with three options are that three of them uh, have the Playbox theme and uh, support my Playbox uh, coding. And uh, the other ones that they have, let's say, from uh, um, other people, other creators' uh, themes, then and they have Kodi because they won't support uh, Playbox. Uh, you can use uh, Kodi to have the correct, let's say, uh, entry displayed so this is what i'm talking about let's go option one is the us japan genesis sega cd tg16 and tg16 cd and odyssey including playbox the same thing is for europe uh include play playbox and then all means like you know uh, the both uh both genesis and mega drive both sega cd and mega cd they're all displayed and but i don't know if you want to do that uh, it would be nice for uh testing things but uh, I think the best thing for you is just to select one of these options. So in our case, a virtual man, he uses the option four, which is US Japan. It has the Genesis Sega CD, TG16 CD uh, and Odyssey and Kodi. He has Kodi uh, to support these uh, uh, Dwayne Hearst uh, themes uh, because um, it's not supported. Uh, Playbox is not supported on this team, so that's I would say like you know the easier way to do it. So uh, again, for the EU and all with Cody, that's the thing. That's why it says plus Cody. So we go back. Then we have uh, the repair jukebox, Playbox, Cody, Power, Raspberry, Steam uh, system. So if you mess up these uh, ROM folders, uh, if you click here, basically we just restore exactly as I had it uh, on the original playbox and you can have it right away without you worrying what you messed up or what you fixed it we just uh, delete these folders and recreate them from scratch with everything as needed with the permission <coughs> now we go to 4 this is to repair the BGM emulator mute configuration file this is this uh, Pi uh, script uh, the live wire PyScript script that uh, exists 
in uh, the home directory and um, it has all this information about when an emulation starts to mute the music the background music so you can just focus and has only the uh, have only the audio of the emulator and the rom uh, now this is uh, why it's a fix because some of you maybe just decided to go and do some changes you messed it up uh, you forgot what you did or <clears throat> it's not working you do that and then you have to reboot and uh, you should be fine so now we go to uh, number five this is um, if it was on the official one it would just restore my music set now i have it uh, for virtual man and uh, it's his release so i just have uh, restore virtual man music set so if he has in the fix it it will restore his music in case you uh, accidentally or change it or removed it same thing goes for the uh, his uh, slideshow images then we have seven which is a reset all retropie controller configuration that script you saw that again in the main retropie menu uh, we have the uh, retropie to play top cli commands history so <clears throat> uh, i have uh, when, when we do a lot of updates we do things we type in the command line all of this stay on a file called uh, a CLI commands history file so uh, uh, this this fix what it does it just uh, deletes and uh, copies a clean file with only the top CLI commands that you need which is the fix playbox is the emulation station the skyscraper uh, raspy config and retropie setup so uh, next one is the skyscraper by Lars this one you have to be uh, outside you have to exit or quit the uh, emulation station and uh, then you can start skyscraper because it runs like steven self uh, scraper only from the command line now we have number 10 the cleanup uh, section we have the cleanup uh, of all save hide that files etc from the roms uh, folder and uh, uh, in another folder as per request from uh, virtual man so um, this is a safe script it will just clean up all your saves and um, uh, keep your uh, screen uh, your image uh, clean in case you want uh, let's say make a new image and give it to someone uh, you can remove this from here now the option 11 the cleanup favorites and more what it means more so let's go and start it you have uh, this one can automatically clear the auto blast played the play count uh, this is automatic collections that you see in uh, uh, retro in uh, in the emulation station and then you have the favorites uh, which is that uh, being updated in the game lists xml's and uh, the options we have is uh, option one two four will clear the game list in the drum directory two and five will clear the game list in the es game list directory this is uh, the game list that when you don't have a game list a custom game list xml file in the roms directory uh, uh, emulation station automatically creates this game list and puts them in the configs uh, slash all slash emulation station um slash game list if i remember well and uh, then we have three and six will clear the game list in both directories so let's go inside and see what i'm talking about so number one will clear the auto last played and play count in the roms directory game list then it will clear up uh, option two uh, in the ones that automatically created when you don't have custom ones in the es game list directory and this is uh, option three will clear on all above so um, then we have the uh, the four which cleans only the favorites from the roms directory the favorites from the es game list directory as i said it depending on you what you have <clears throat> and if you want to make sure that you want to clean all they just clean uh, the the ones as both directories so let's go back 
and then we go to the file system uh, cache cleanup when you do some updates or things like that <clears throat> some things stay uh, back so this cleans up your system I remember when I was uh, working on Playbox I ended up I think removing about one gig of this cache which was very very nice uh, freed up the space for me and then we have the info section we have uh, the, it shows the partition and space info um, <clears throat> we have the show system free memory info we have the show operating system version and info I'll just add that for you so it says on the top Linux Playbox 415 Core 98 version 7 plus and then it's a Raspbian 9.8 stretch we just press any key to continue and we'll go back and then we have the desktop uh, which is an entry that you can start your Raspbian desktop from the CLI as I said I already have it as a system in the emulation system uh, station you can start it from there but this um, specific one entry you have to run it only from the CLI so last one we have the system update script the system full info which is similar to the one that you have in the uh, virtual pi menu and then you have the system reboot and shut down so that's it i hope uh, i made some uh, things a little bit more clear so let's go and exit we're back in the menu um let's see if there's anything else uh, <clears throat> worth mentioning that i have done for this image amiga amiga cd we explained just going through the systems Um, on uh, Playbox I have MSX and MSX2 <coughs> separate uh, systems I think uh, I don't know if uh, Virtual Man he just has uh, all MSX2 in here where it's combined but um, uh, it's one of the tricky systems and basically uh, it took some time uh, I read uh, as much as I could about these systems and the way I set it up it uh, uses specific um, uh, BIOSes for that system so they were uh, made different devices different systems so MSX has a different BIOS uh, and um, from what I remember and I have it on my thing I think on my systems PDF so uh, uh, for each system the MSX the MSX 2 and 2 plus I select the best system uh, BIOS um, for this uh, system and actually when I was playing around I found very I had new, not, no idea about these systems and they're very interesting and have some interesting games Nintendo DS um, <clears throat> there is uh, thanks to a tip from uh, Toto 2000 uh, I have um, uh, a post on how you can update the new um, DS that doesn't need uh, you can run your microphone based rooms and they won't crash and you can get the same information on a virtual man tapa tap uh, tapa talk forum <coughs> on the ports uh, virtual man did a very nice job adding uh, artwork uh, and uh, snaps here um, uh, he added brutal uh, doom uh, i had the sea dogs uh, i had uh, the cannonball that is just the enhanced out run i have the cave story enabled uh, commander genius all of them uh, i have it installed uh, Duke Nukem 3D, uh, Quake, uh, Virtual Man added this, Quake Episode, Quake Mission Pack 1, Quake Mission Pack 2, uh, Street of Rage Remake, 
51 <clears throat> uh, this is as a port virtual man added that too then we have the Ukon masters i had this on the playbox wolfenstein 3d and the three zelda uh, <clears throat> games so uh, we go let's see psp minis and these are the collections uh, on this one that i'm testing and showcasing now about the retro point menu i just removed and i left only the i uh, think uh, three turn uh, it has the shooter maps the racing games the virtual man arcade uh, the super nintendo classic uh, and that's it so i think we're done if you have any questions please join my discord uh, if you like what you see and you want me to do uh, please support me by subscribing uh, it really helps and uh, as i said welcome you're welcome to uh, ask any questions uh, we're a friendly group uh, uh, the most of you that don't know me i try to do my best to help you all and answer your questions so um thank you again for watching and uh we'll see you soon bye bye